All right, I've been making programming videos on YouTube for over two years now. And in that time, I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of messages of people asking me how to learn to code, telling me their plan for learning to code, saying they got super inspired. But unfortunately, a lot of these people, they never make it. Now, it's not because they're not smart enough, but I strongly believe it's because they fall into one of four traps. Now, these are mistakes that if you can avoid them, the only thing that stands between you and that programming career is being distracted with YouTube videos like this. Just one more though. In this video, I'm gonna talk about those four traps, how you can successfully avoid them, and I'm gonna to try to give you a unique perspective and unique insights that you can't find in other videos uh, by giving you my opinion as a programmer for, at this point, close to four years. Anyway, let's get right into it with the first trap. So you've heard the analogy of your brain being a computer before, and okay, hardware is important, but more important, I think, is your operating system. That is your mindset. Now, I first found out about this concept from this guy, Owen Cook, on YouTube. You might be familiar with him. He's a self-help guy, and he didn't invent this concept, but it is growth versus fixed mindset. Now, growth mindset is what you want, where you're focusing on how much better you're getting at something every day instead of how good you currently are. So if you look over the past week, how good were you on Monday versus Friday? That's really what you should be focusing on because if you do that, it's just a matter of time before you get closer and closer to where you actually wanna be. Uh, I'll give you an example. I'm learning Russian right now. And at first I was just trying to say, I like, and it's Mnei and I couldn't remember it, but then I finally got it and I realized, hey, now that I know this, I'm gonna know it forever. <laughs> and I just have this in my vocabulary. So it's the same with coding. Once you know how to uh, reverse a linked list or traverse on the DOM with JavaScript, you just have that skill now and no one's gonna take it away from you. So growth mindset, super important first tip. And it's gonna get more interesting from here, don't worry. Now the next trap that you've almost certainly heard of is called tutorial hell. I prefer to call it the tutorial treadmill though. It's where you keep running, doing tutorial after tutorial, and you're not going anywhere. You're in the same place and your enthusiasm just slowly goes down. You get discouraged because you feel like it's too hard. But I'm here to tell you that you haven't actually gotten any closer to mastery until you write your first line of code without help. I'll say that again, until you actually write a line of code, not copy it, then you're still at square one. So that's why I encourage people to get on practice sites like Code Wars absolutely as soon as possible because that's when the learning starts. And people feel like they're dumb because they've watched a hundred hours of tutorials and then they go on Code Wars and they can't do the easiest problem. And that's because you're still a baby in code years until you start writing code. It's so simple, but so many people don't understand this. So just start writing code today. Do code wars, start doing projects, even if they're too hard, and you will get there faster than you think, I promise. All right, let's talk about trap number three, which is not choosing a niche. So a lot of programming YouTubers will say, don't focus on specific technology, focus on general programming skills, and you're gonna be fine. So I don't necessarily agree, and here's why. Companies are fundamentally hiring you to solve a business need. And if you can't do that, they're gonna have to train you from scratch. Okay, you'll have the foundation of programming, but if you can't solve the problem from day one and someone else can, why are they gonna hire you? Just think about it. What do I mean by niche and how do you choose one? Well, uh, a lot of people focus on programming as a whole, that's way too broad. Uh, you can go down to something like JavaScript or Python. That's still too broad though. What you really need to do is keep going deeper. So go into JavaScript, uh, go deeper into React, and then start building React web apps with Next.js, and that'll be your niche stack. So now, any company that uses uh, React and especially Next.js on top of that, they're gonna see you and you're gonna be the perfect fit. So just from a marketing perspective, and from an actual value you can create perspective, uh, going very specific on your stack, very specifically into a niche is actually gonna help you a lot. Don't be the DevOps guy. Be the AWS expert who writes the sickest deployment scripts and has a tattoo of all the AWS services. Another example, don't just be the backend guy or the Python guy. Be the Django specialist who is so good at Django 
you can start pushing code on day one. Final note on this trap, this is a little bit less true with large tech companies because they have the resources to train you, but the smaller the company gets, the more you're gonna need to know out of the gate because they can't waste their time or money on you. And it's the most true when you're freelancing because the client is definitely not gonna train you. You have to be able to save them time. Now, finally, trap number four is trying to do it alone. And there's a reason why people are willing to pay so much for a college or a coding bootcamp. And that's to get into a community of like-minded individuals because without that, a college is, it's just a library and some old people reading you a book. Anyway, these institutions are really expensive, but the community is invaluable. It's really good. Uh, on the other end of the spectrum, you have free forums and communities. You have things like Stack Overflow, Reddit, and you have open course communities like Harvard CS50 that you can join. And people are doing the same course. But the problem with these is, uh, and it might be because they're free, maybe not, but people aren't really invested in the community. So they come one day, they go one day, they sign up, they never do it, that kind of thing. So it can be kind of watered down with these people who are just trying to either extract value and not give it back, or they're just very ephemeral. Uh, the final option, which is kind of in the middle community wise, is a paid course that is gonna have a strong group attached to it. So I'll give you just a few examples of communities I've joined. Uh, the first one is called Visualized Value. Uh, I took this design course from this guy on I found on Twitter, Jack Butcher, and I joined his community and people are just making great connections in there. They're getting feedback and everything and it's super active and a few hundred people. Uh, the other one I've done is Parker Wahlbeck uh, here on YouTube, a guy who does filmmaking. I joined his full-time filmmaker program and I learned so much from people posting in his community. And uh, actually, it seems like people are getting more value from the community than the course. And of course, there's a ton more, but this is something I feel is super valuable. Uh, so much so that I'm creating my own community for freelance developers, which also has a program inside uh, that's gonna take people from zero to successful freelance developer. And we're gonna be focusing on the e-commerce niche, but also learning all the web development. Uh, so I won't push it too much, but if you wanna learn more, check out the description. I'm teaming up with uh, a partner on that too. All right, guys, those are the four traps you definitely want to avoid when you're learning to code. And if you can get around those mistakes, you'll be in pretty good shape. And hopefully you'll be emailing me your success story. All right, uh, if you learned something, hit the like button. Uh, if you don't mind and with that i'll see you in the next video